Now, the rest of the story. Raymond Floyd was one of the hottest young players on the professional golf tour, and he loved off the tour big money gambling games even more than the professional matches. So friends in Dallas would arrange high-stakes shootouts with amateurs, Ray always handicapping himself in some way to even things out. Then one day some Texas gamblers got together and they proposed a no-handicap game for Ray. They told him that he could play this non-tour pro, play him toe-to-toe, some fella out in the boondocks, and Ray's hometown tennis and park crowd would bet all of their money on Ray. Ray said, okay. Now, the course where this massive currency exchange was to take place was called Horizon Hills. Ray Floyd had no idea what to expect, but, well, this is the rest of the story. When Ray drove up to Horizon Hills, he was met by a man in a motorized golf cart. The man was a few years older than Ray, polite, quiet. He took Ray's big pro golf bag to the clubhouse, carried it into the locker room, and said, May I clean your shoes? And Ray nodded. And by the way, asked Ray, who is this guy I'm supposed to play? And the man who was cleaning his shoes said, I am. You, said Ray incredulously. What do you do? Well, the fellow explained that Horizon Hills was not a big club. He had been hired a while back as a handyman, $30 a week. Now he was sort of a combination of everything. Cart man, shoe man, clubhouse man. Ray Floyd shook his head, trying to suppress a smile. He would have something to eat, he said, and then they would tee off at one. In the interim, one of Ray's hosts asked if he would like to take a look at the course. And Ray said, what for? I'm playing the shoeshine boy. One question lingered in the visiting pro's mind. Rich gamblers from Dallas were betting on him, but who on earth was betting on this other fellow? Well, the answer was local cotton farmers. They, too, loved to wager... They threw C-notes around like candy wrappers about harvest time, and they liked this cart man from Horizon Hills. So, at 1 o'clock, these same farmers piled into their beer-laden pickup trucks, and they converged at the first tee. Never one to pass up a sure thing, Ray bet a ton on himself. And the game was underway. It must have been quite a sight, those two golfers battling it out under the Texas sun. The famous touring professional and the local nobody pursued by a raucous throng in pickup trucks rumbling down alongside the fairway. As one might have predicted, the tour pro Ray Floyd shot a blazing 67 that afternoon. His competitor, the cart man, shoe man, clubhouse man, scored 65. That's right, he beat the wide-eyed, drop-jawed young star of the professional golf tour by a comfortable, incredible two strokes. Ray wanted to play another nine, but his victorious opponent had other duties. He had to put the carts up and clean the members' clubs and brush and polish their shoes. As the man walked off into the bag room, Ray Floyd scratched his head, wondering how long it would take for fame to catch up with an anonymous, tremendously talented 20-year-old shoeshine boy named Lee Trevino. Well, now you know the rest of the story.